TNTM The Show presents... August Talking Nerdy. With your host, Pablo Gunner. The Ambassador. I'm Marvin Goof, baby. And we are here to talk nerdy to you about all the nerdy stuff, or as much of the nerdy stuff that we could cover as possible for the month of August. So we're going to be covering Kite Man by The Ambassador. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'll be... Don't chime in, because I've seen a little bit. And then we're going to do some shout-outs, talk about the merch, and uh, talk about what our charity of the month is going to be for September. Why don't you take it away with Kite Man? Kite Man, hell yeah. That's the name of the show, by the way. <laughs> Kite is. Man, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Even though he is hyped about it. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the first episode was good. They did, like, a cameo... Harley Quinn in there, but what's great about this show is you don't need her there. You don't need to watch Harley Quinn if you want to watch Kite Man. Mm -hmm. I would recommend it because Harley Quinn is amazing and a must-see in my opinion, but you don't have to watch it. You can just, uh, you, you can already get the idea of where things are going. Basically, Kite Man is a loser villain who has a kite, <laughs> and he's dating... <laughs> This girl who's out of his league, Golden Glider, hmm. who's another villain, and they like going to this bar called Noonigans. Lex Luthor gets pissed off at Kite Man and uh, wants to buy the bar just to spite Kite Man. Oh. The owner of the bar is like, yeah, yeah, 10 million, sure. And so they're like, what if we get 10 million and buy it instead? The owner's like, okay, and so they use their resources, so he tries to go to his ex-girlfriend, Poison Ivy. <laughs> Doesn't work, but they do figure out a way to uh, pay for it. It focuses on his daddy issues throughout the whole season. Interesting, okay. And then Golden Glider has mommy issues. She also has a hard time controlling her power. Of course, the best side character they have in there is Bane. Yes, dude, I love Bane. He's so funny. Because it's the voice from the... They, they imitate the voice from Dark Knight Rises. The Nolan trilogy, oh, yes. Cool. And it's okay, so yeah. funny, dude. But yeah, they, like, oh, he, my God. even in the Harley Quinn series, he had some of the He's best... He's the funniest, parts. yes. Yeah, like he goes to Italy to learn how to make <laughs> pasta. Your eggs are faulty, I will explode them all! Ah! <laughs> Why am I so not watching fun. this? It's so great. funny, dude. Oh my god. Yeah, but, but his care <laughs> Basically, Lex Luthor's tired of Bane, so he got rejected, so now he's hanging out with Kite Man and them. And then they're all competing with, like, <laughs> Lex Luthor... Because he yeah. has his own restaurant that's like a conglomerate, you know, like corporate conglomerate. No, it's, it's not his. Oh, it's not? It's the girl, ladies. Oh, okay. Yeah, Villigans. Villigans, <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, and it's like, it's yeah, themed yeah. like they have villains as the waiters and stuff. Uh, 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 it's, it's so funny. They go, they go, they send Bane to go check it out. And, and Bane gets uh, pretty angry because the Bane... The guy dressed up as Bane there doesn't look like him, so he just starts waiting tables. Because he wants to, he doesn't want to ruin his rap. <laughs> yeah. You know, he's like, it's so dumb, but it's so funny. Bane, Bane is just such a funny character. <laughs> Even when he was in Harley Quinn, like, sometimes he would steal the show because of how great he is. Mm -hmm. And he does actually have, like, development. That's what's great, is they have this kind of stupid muscle head character, but they do have him uh, developing. Because uh, when he started in Harley Quinn, he threatened to blow up places that offended him. Like he wanted to blow up the football stadium because he tried to overcharge him. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm, I'm just glad they did keep it in the Harley Quinn universe, because that Harley Quinn universe is so good. And, uh, some characters are done very accurately to themselves, and others not so much. Mm -hmm. But the ones they change are so funny. And of course, one of the other great side characters from Harley Quinn does make an appearance in one episode. Clayface. Oh, nice. Which the Clayface in this universe 
is like a washed up Shakespearean actor. <laughs> mm. and, and he uses his ability to like turn into people mm. as a way to try to act. Yeah, hilarious. He's also super, he's, he's hilarious, yeah, yeah, in the Harley Quinn show, yeah, for sure. But Kite Man itself, I was, I didn't know if they could really carry a story with Kite Man. Yeah. But they did, they added in the daddy issues, which helped, and then with Golden Glider, mommy issues, but then also them having to learn to be together mm -hmm. more, because they're owning a business together, so they have to deal with that. When they when they move in together, they have to deal with that too. Yeah, it's it's, it's pretty solid. Yeah, it's a pretty solid and show. the side characters that they made up for it were pretty funny too. Like the fairy tale character, she was funny. The Siamese twins were funny. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah there there were there were so many good characters. Oh, the funniest one that just randomly shows up every once in a while is the preschool teacher that goes oh. to the bar. Huh. He, he's not evil or he just that's the bar he goes to he just goes, okay. <laughs> and they just kind of let him be there and he'll talk about his kids or whatever. <laughs> his class oh. it was re it was a really really funny series and the nice thing is even for like the season finale they did help raise the stakes and it was great because they hinted at it in the in like the first episode on what would eventually be the big thing causing issues but it's funny one of the side characters they have like they needed like a hip girl to bartend so they got Darkseid's daughter oh jeez <laughs> there's an episode where Darkseid shows up and the irony is Darkseid's looking for something on earth he doesn't realize what he's looking for is where his daughter is working. <laughs> oh yeah. And then of course Bane with the uh, what uh, they're looking f what he's looking for was funny too, because they did this whole thing where they had Bane competing to be the sexiest villain. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, the the show is really well done and fun and. They keep to, like, the animation style of Harley Quinn. They just kind of expanded the universe. Mm -hmm. So I, I give it a must-see, must-watch. Excellent. I think depending on what you want, right, like what you're looking for, like this is, if you like the Harley Quinn show, you're going to love this as well, yeah. right? Like if you love that one, you're going to love this one. It's in the same vein. I want to say it's, yeah, like you said, same animation, probably same writers because it feels like it's right there. It's hilarious. It is hilarious. It's fantastic. It's really well done so far. So I think if that's what you're going for, it's definitely a must-see, must-stream. Yeah, and if you haven't watched Harley Quinn, what are you doing? Go watch it. I need to fix that. Yeah, it's hilarious. <laughs> Kira talking to me, our grade scale is must-see, must-stream, unless it's something that you can buy, of course, and then uh, check it out or worth checking out, and then pass. So for shoutouts, we have uh, MK Wizard. She is now at the top of that list every time because she's phenomenal. You've seen some of the videos. You may or may not have seen some of the videos I've done with her, and they're great. We have this great conversation back and forth. So definitely check out all of her stuff because it's great. Uh, Film Rage, those guys are hilarious. They cover movies. So if you like, if you're a hardcore movie person, definitely listen to them because they cover stuff ASAP and they'll keep you on on the know. And then they're hilarious. Uh, Pesky Gremlins, they they do web comics like MK Wizard, so that, check that out. Uh, watch it if you can. Podcasts, they're awesome. Amerime Media, they're really cool as well. Um, and then uh, for merch. But Yogurt, what is this place? What is it that you do here? Merchandising. Merchandising? What's that? Merchandising. Come, I'll show you. Open up this door. <laughs> <laughs> Come, walk this way, take a look. We put the picture's name on everything. For the new month, for September, it's going to be Lord of the Rings. It's mainly going to be focused because everybody loves the books and the movies, so it's mainly going to be focused on that, but we are going to have some Rings of Power merch as well, so keep an eye out for that. It's going to be coming out, and we're going to be uh, leaving our Batman stuff. Maybe come up with some more, I don't know. And, um, mm -hmm. of course, we're sporting our merch now. Here it is right there. 
We have uh, this, this hat as well. Is a little oh yeah, the Pokemon hat. Pretty much the Ash Ketchum Tognary to me hat, and uh, our magic. The lovely right? Magic the Gathering shirt. This one's my favorite, actually. MTG, <laughs> the good MTG. The good MTG. Yeah. So, an ambassador. Got my Ninja Turtles Tognary to me shirt. Yes. And uh, and I got one too. Mine's blue tank top right here, and I got the shorts to go with it. Uh, I want the headband and the socks. And so, if you buy any merch from us, uh, it helps us greatly. I mean, we really don't make a lot of money off the merch, but 5% of any profit that we go to, we have a different charity for the month. And so, for the new month, it's going to be AFSP, which is American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, as it is, as it is Suicide Prevention Month. Uh, there's also Hispanic Heritage Month uh, is halfway through the month. That's why I'm not going to do the whole month, but we're going to roll out some merch for that as we have some Azul Beetle and probably some Miles Morales. We'll probably roll that out too, yeah. you know, and then any other characters that we can think of that we, that we love, we're, we're inspired by and everything like that. That's it, unless you guys have anything else. Look out for a review of the new 5th edition Player's Handbook. Awesome. That's coming out in a few weeks. I'll hopefully turn that out here in a bit. Cool. Talk nerdy to me. Stay nerdy, flat earth. Keep it nerdy, y'all. <laughs>